Hey everybody, Nick here, and today we're going to do a little disassembly and maintenance on this little guy right here. This is the Giant Mouse GM3. One thing you're going to notice if you're a longtime fan of the channel is that I'm trying out a new mat for disassembly. It even has little cubbies for all the screws and whatnot at the top there. Uh, thanks to my buddy Jim for actually highlighting this guy for me in the uh, one of the videos. So, see if it works. The reason I haven't used the other mat, uh, just, you know, do it on the table, is because then grease and oil gets everywhere, and that's not great. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Right here is the uh, T8 screwdriver. That should let me pop out the pivot. It is slightly free-spinning, but a little bit of pressure on the backside removes that issue. And then I'll move to T6 for the other uh, screws here. Put those up there. So I actually did a disassembly of this guy live on camera uh, during my unboxing. And I'm really glad that I did because uh, the knife got way better when I did that. Um, in, in terms of action, this was, this went from being, whoa there, a uh, very sort of middle of the road sort of flip it being pretty excellent uh so i appreciated that very much and uh so we're not going to find a whole lot of dirt and gunk in here although i have carried it a fair bit actually since that original uh original video but we'll go ahead and clean it up here all righty using a uh, bit of 91 percent rubbing alcohol and drowning myself in it well that sounds really bad uh, it's not like a, a fun, well, not fun, but a, a cute way to talk about alcoholism or anything like that. I'm not drowning myself in rubbing alcohol, except in the sense that I'm spraying it everywhere, which you can see pretty clearly on camera. So you know that that's not just like denial or something, although at this point I'm protesting too much, perhaps. But anyways, beside the point there... <laughs> Sorry, guys. Alcoholism's a real problem. I don't mean to mock you if you're uh, struggling with it. I understand. It can be a real pain in the neck, to put it nicely. All righty. Um, so I want to pop out the pivot here, clean the pivot off, back at the ranch. Um, there's actually, you know, a couple of things to highlight here. You've got a very nice little piece of engraving on the bar here, the lock bar, uh, which is subtle but pleasant. And you can actually see here that the lock bar itself is secured in a couple of places. It seems to be, uh, it's held on by the, uh, back spacer screws here as well as by the clip. So it's all screwed in there and, uh, it is very secure. I mean, I think it's a nicely done design there. The uh, giant mouse folks are doing a nice job of these uh, integral lock bar, integrated lock bars that aren't of the same material. And then right here, this is 030, uh, which is fine and fun. Why not, right? Um, so there you go. Uh, let's go ahead and put a little bit of lubrication in the subject here. I'm going to go ahead and use, uh, where are you? Yeah, this is actually a, uh, this is still your nano oil, but they're, they're now trying to sell it the pen form. Uh, which I'm curious, uh, well, I've been enjoying, actually, because it, uh, it gives me a little bit of, uh, well, basically, it gives me a little bit of uh, control here. I apply a little bit less, because all I need to do is kind of press against it, and it drops a little bit of oil on there. And so, hopefully, this will allow me to, to, to work on my, my habit of over-oiling the world uh, by just applying a little bit less using the little pen guy here. And, frankly, it's a nice form factor, so... Giving it a shot here. It's kind of a weird thing to do a review of, but I guess I probably should. There we go. Alrighty, and I'm going to go ahead and drop these washers or uh, bearings down onto there. It's worth saying that they don't really necessarily... Oh, and also stainless steel bearing race is another thing I uh, could go ahead and show off there that's of some interest. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, again, just coat the, uh, the the tent ball path here, and I can just draw it directly on now. I'll kind of squiggle to either side there, and a little bit here, a little bit here. But uh, there you go, and also what we can see here is a detent ball ramp, uh, which is a nice little touch. It's not a big deal, but it is absolutely a nice little touch that they've done here. All right, so that's popped in there. I think got the both sets of bearings, which is nice. Um, I'll go ahead and a little oil there, and then a little here, a little here. There we go. Case closed. Really am trying to cut down on the amount of oil. It's been slow but sure. Speaking of people having substance issues, I've got an issue with using too much oil. 
and oil's a substance. Again, I keep mocking that. That I shouldn't be. But look, I mean, the knife on the whole, you can see, is nicely constructed. It's nicely made. There's not that much there, but what's there is done well. There's no real concern with it in that way. I'm also using stick Loctite while I'm innovating. There we go. Works nicely. This is the medium strength still. But I'm no longer dealing with fiddly little hole punches in the top of the thing, and that, that that's that's a joy. And then going ahead and popping my screws out of here. And plug that in there. Tighten down. Now finally, pivot. So I'm going to have to manipulate the lock bar a little bit as I'm doing this, because there's some tension. Although actually a little bit less lock bar tension than usual, which uh, is kind of a nice benefit of doing a line of lock. Uh, uh, frame locks have a tendency towards crazy lock bar tension, just because they kind of need it. Um, and thicker materials and whatnot, so... Okay, I'm backing this screw out. There we go. Until I kind of feel it skip one, and then I'm going to go ahead and plunge it in there. And as I recall, this guy runs best when it's fully cranked. And indeed... Is it fully cranked? No blade play. Vertical or horizontal. There we go. Yeah, that fires just beautifully. Um, back it off just a smidge, see if that helps. No, not really. Doesn't hurt anything, though. Centering is just a hair off, actually, towards the show side. So I'm actually going to go ahead and tighten these. Or I'll loosen up these back screws a little bit and then tighten them back and see if that makes any difference. So I kind of went about this a little bit backwards. But as I, I'll have to check my initial video, uh, the unboxing, just to see whether... Okay, now it's... It's close. Interesting. Yeah. Not perfect, but it's pretty damn close. Certainly not touching anywhere. Not ideal. I'm wondering. No, I got everything in there, right? Action's great. No play to either side. It's favoring the uh, show side, which means it's probably not the lock bar being too uh, loose, which can occasionally cause that. Uh, yeah. Well, here, I'll tighten up a little more, see if that helps. Okay, yeah, that helped a little bit. Yeah, now it's basically set it. Yeah, so there was a little bit of extra tension down here, and then... Yeah. It's nice and tight in there. And we're good to go. Alrighty, so there you go. There's your GM2. Uh, GM3. GM3. The 2 is the carbon fiber one. Uh, and uh, 8 minutes. Not so bad, but a straightforward knife done well. So uh, there you go. Hope this has been interesting to you. And uh, mostly I hope that you have yourselves an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.